Hi, my name is Bill Behrens, and I was contacted about this Hall of Fame. And for a moment, I was quite honestly speechless. I know I've been inducted to other Hall of Fames, but it's always good to be approached by another. But then to my shock and dismay, I was told, no, it's not you, Bill. It's David Young. And we'd like you to do a video. And so, reluctantly, here we go. I met David sometime in the mid to late 90s, which makes me old and him old. But time does that. Surprisingly, I found him to be talented and an important asset to a wrestling card, and accordingly, he became part of a roster in Nashville I was part with Burt Prentice at NWA Worldwide, and he also worked for me in Georgia, starting in my initially Music City Wrestling Georgia, which made no sense at all, but soon became NWA Georgia. And it was there that he first introduced me to the gentleman inducting him tonight, Frank Paris. He brought youthful Frank to the show and said, he calls himself Kid Ego, which I hated. And so I came up with the name Air Paris. You may ask how. Well, he said his last name with Paris. Paris is in France. There's an airline called Air France, and that got me to Air Paris. It's wrestling logic. Just go with it. David followed me to what became NWA Wildside, and actually he had appeared there before I got there, but that really didn't matter to me. Once there, he was reluctantly teamed with Rick Michaels, and I helped create both the name and the team called Bad Attitude. Help them with their tagline, Attitude is everything, and ours is bad. And then, much to David's dismay, they were good enough to become multiple NWA World's Tag Team Champions, which meant he had to travel with Rick Michaels. It is my hope he has recovered from that by now. But that also took him to Nashville, where he was in a lengthy feud with youthful Air Paris and his partner Cassidy Riley, the Hot Shots. And I decided to make that drive over the mountain and manage them several times. One time, I even got arrested and carted away in a police car which simply was not fair. And accordingly, I believe I hurt Cassidy Riley repeatedly with a tennis racket because I guess I blamed him. David may not have enjoyed his time with Rick Michaels, but he also went on the road with a youthful A.J. Styles. Took him under his wing and fortunately, regardless of his considerable efforts, was not able to corrupt him. But God knows he tried. Fortunately, he always had Frank Paris if he needed that. You know, David has once said that nothing should get in the way of a good story, including the truth. 
And so with that in mind, I am here to honor David Young, express my love for him, and say that he, much more than me, deserves to be in this Hall of Fame and inducted by Frank Paris. David, enjoy your evening. I hate you.